The second of the three big voting days of election 2016 is tomorrow. By this time tomorrow night, barring unforeseen developments, we will know who will be the state attorney here in Jacksonville, who will likely represent our area in Congress and the state legislature, and who will hold a host of local offices. And beyond all those races, Duval County residents will find out if they have agreed to extend a local sales tax for three more decades to solve the pension crisis. Tonight, Kent, our political reporter, hosted a roundtable discussion at Unity Plaza, touching on what to look for as we head into tomorrow's voting. And joining us for our roundtable discussion as we get ready for August 30th in the big election tomorrow, Dr. Michael Bender from UNF, Dr. John Allen Newman, a Democrat uh, as we talk tonight, and a former leader of the Republican Party in Duval County, John Falconetti. Let's talk about this. We've been watching for months. We knew August 30th would be big because there's uh, at least one or two issues that are pretty big and lots of candidates really going at it. Yeah, there's obviously the state attorney's race, which has gotten a ton of attention and a lot of money. And then there's the public defender's race with that that's been overshadowed a little bit. And then there's two congressional seats that are up for grabs in CD4 and CD5. And that doesn't even count the, the Duval pension tax that's on the ballot. So there is a lot to vote for tomorrow. And if you haven't gone out and voted, yeah. get, get to it. John County referendum number one. We've talked about it. There's pros and cons, and the mayor of Jacksonville has made it his mission in these last several months, going out and campaigning pretty heavily for this. Where do you think that stands right now as we get ready for the vote? I think that it stands in pretty good shape. It's hard to really say totally until tomorrow, of course, when the votes come in. And yes, there is a split, certainly with support. Um, the African-American community, there's been a lot of you know conversation about should they support it or not in light of past historical issues that have taken place where African Americans felt shortchanged. And I think that there's a lot of that influence in terms of in the community, how they feel about it. But at the same time, also there are others who are saying, but this hurts the entire city if it's not passed. Yeah, if, if it's not handled. John Falconetti, what are you hearing? And is this kind of a partisan thing? I know the mayor has said, hey, we want to work across party lines. It's about the whole city, not Republican mayor doing this for Republican citizens. Yeah. Well, I, I think my friend uh, Johnny Newman is right. I, th I, think it's, I think it's in good shape. I think it, it certainly appears as if it'll pass. And Ken, I think you hit the nail on the head too. This is as much about Mayor Lenny Curry as it is anything else. I think the outcome of, uh, of this referendum will be a real statement in terms of will this community support and feel safe with the execution of these plans under Mayor Curry. And we're seeing a huge, huge surge in Republican turnout, maybe even historic Republican turnout for this election cycle. And I think that's being driven by the referendum and, and most likely by the uh, successful passage of that. On the Republican side, driving some of those races that we're talking about, you mentioned CD4, the Congressional District replacing Andrew Crenshaw, but also it's the Republicans who are after it in the state attorney's race. A uh, lot of Democrats wish they were voting in that one uh, as well, John Newman and John Falconetti. Yep. So um, uh, clearly the state attorney's race has uh, had a lot of money, a lot of tension, a lot of conversation around that. So uh, in terms of driving the folks to the polls, we talked a little earlier, right? We're having a lot of turnout in the beaches and in the Mandarin areas. So there are a lot of these state house seats that are also driving that activity and the excitement as well. Yeah. John, I, I'd heard some Democrats early on say, well, I'll just change my party and then I can vote in this Republican primary. But there's a lot of folks who, if they did that, won't be able to vote for one of their favorite Democrats, Corrine Brown. In fact, I remember hearing Corrine saying, don't register Republican do because you can't vote for me. And I think that's going to be a really um, tough race. There's a lot of, lot of talk in the community about that. Uh, Corrine has a lot of support. People love her for all the longevity of her of her tenure in, in Congress. But at the same time, there are others who are saying perhaps it's time for a change. I think those two elements are there. But do not underestimate her ground game because it is momentous. Yeah, you know, we talked, uh, just covering the news here, we had talked, oh, a little late that she would open her campaign offices. Well, she said, hey, I've been working on two things here uh, that have been more important. Now I'm working on my campaign. Dr. Bender, what do you think about this? Can somebody from Tallahassee, former State Senator Al Lawson, come over and take the vote in Congressional District 5? I certainly think it's possible. And while Corinne has had a historically great ground game, her resources have dried up this election cycle. She hasn't focused on it. And, it. and it's not clear, particularly with the decreased turnout amongst the, in the Democrats this time around, how many of those folks are going to show up. And if they don't show up, that really bodes well for Al Lawson. It's expected that he will do much better further west. 
And it's possible that Ashanta Holloway could take away some of Corrine's votes because the base for those two candidates is basically the same. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, gentlemen, I appreciate the insights here. And obviously, we're looking ahead to what happens on Tuesday. As Dr. Bender said, if you haven't gotten out and voted, get to it. Get out and <laughs> vote.